So what can people do now to look out for this? So do you have a website? We have everything. Okay. Um, yeah. Can you name some of the yeah, things so that people yeah, can go on? Yeah, absolutely. So we are really proud of the space industry is shockingly bad at communicating to the average person. Um, unless you're a space geek or into <laughs> space, which to be honest, I wasn't. I like sure, airplanes. I sure. wasn't massively into space. Um but yeah, the communication to average people has just been really bad. And so we, as Spaceport Cornwall, um, we try and do it very differently. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can check us out online. We have Twitter at Space Cornwall, or I'm on Twitter at Mel's Good Space. We have Instagram, same handles. Um, we're just about to set up TikTok. Um, not me, because I can't even bring myself <laughs> to do that. Um, but our young our young interns are doing that for us. Um, and we have a website which has loads of information. We have a YouTube channel. Um, it's all there. So spaceportcornwall.com is the website. You should be able to find lots Excellent. of our videos. But we're all over. And we, we pop up in very weird and wonderful places. And we were talking outside before we came into the studio. It's imminent, isn't it? You, something could be around the corner within days. Is that what you're saying? Yes. So fast forward from um, getting that kind of funding with Virgin Orbit and the licensing, and we are pretty much ready to go. Um, in the next few weeks, we have um, all the um, operations moving from California to Cornwall. Wow. Um, they're based out in Mojave and Long Beach in California. Um, so they're just about to ship everything across. We have bunch of Californians on site already and we're due our launch window opens October 29th so we have about what five six weeks now to to get everything ready and to go um which is yeah hugely exciting but as you get closer of course it, it lots of hurdles still keep sure, popping up so sure. we're busy that but everybody's motivated to do this we're really excited for Cornwall to have what is going to be the first ever launch from UK soil happen. Um, so it's historic. But for us, it's about that inspiration piece, inspiring the next generation, inspiring and bringing aspiration to a place like Cornwall. Um, we're working with loads of businesses down here, not space businesses, but businesses that might have an application for space. And that's the best thing about space is it's actually not the space industry. Space crosses every other industry and business. And there's a space application for anything so especially finance you know we've got so you can't get money out of an atm now without we're, we're using a satellite um all the financial industries around the world now use use satellites for their data so it's you know thinking i guess for your listeners that space industry is not cut off to them it is open there's so many op business opportunities um and we just see the launch is one way to enable more of those opportunities to come to the uk um, and for us, you know, at the end of the day, this is a commercial project. We have to be revenue generating. Yep. We don't want to rely on government to continue to kind of to support it as we move forward. So we're working really hard on how we make it commercial and sustainable as well. So do you only have Virgin as a partner or are there other, other, other people? Uh, Virgin are very much our anchor tenant, as we like to call them. Um, but we have announced a partnership with a another launch company called Sierra Space and their technology is really cool. It takes off vertically like almost a shuttle and it goes up to space, delivers people or products and picks up other things from space and brings them back down. We'll be their landing site. Um, so that's up and coming. But I think for us, the real, the real benefit to all of this is the supply chain, the cluster growth that's happening around the site now. We have attracted so many other businesses just on the back of being a spaceport. People love it. They want to be part of it. And we, but we're we building new facilities, office space, lab space, collaboration space. And that office building is done in February and it's probably full already wow. just with other businesses that want to co-locate. So, Hugely exciting. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> What's the ultimate goal? So again, going back to us being slightly different um, as a spaceport, we are hugely purpose-driven and... I think for business these days, that that gives you that that edge. If you really believe in what you're doing and you have that purpose and that vision, that's going to bring you a success that's that's different than just money. And so, for us to get through, you know, the really big challenges, the pressure, the expectation on us as a team, 
our purpose, which is good space. So we have a filter as a team. Is that good space? Whether that's the satellite that we're launching, is it doing something good for humanity or our planet? Is um, that contractor we're working with treating the site with respect? Is the catering that's coming in made from sustainable? You know, it crosses everything that we do as a team. Um, because then what you feel when you come to our site and when you launch with us is that responsibility to be doing it for the right reasons. We don't want to launch things that we don't believe in or that are not going to be beneficial and that are adding to problems on our planet or space debris, for instance. So we want to be the most responsible and ethical place to launch to space from anywhere in the world. And the only way we can do that is from, from... right the food we're eating as a team to right up to the people we're working with who are launching satellites they've got to hit that good space purpose and that's the motivation for us that gets us through was you know the first time ever that anybody's done this (laughs) it sounds like most businesses should do that as a norm as a standard i know they don't but that's an amazing sort of checklist or balance as you go through with that purpose yeah i think i think purpose purpose-driven business is becoming you know a bigger it is becoming a bigger thing because it gives you that motivation every single day to get up and go out because it's it's intrinsic it's inside of you um just solely going out to try and make as much money as possible it feels old school now to do that if you're really wanting to to make that money you're you're gonna get your customers and you're gonna get what you need if you're really i guess authentic about it and about why you're doing so that will that's what sets you apart we have never launched yet we are up against places that have been doing it for 50 years you know with nasa and spacex yet i still get invited to speak alongside them because i'm saying something that sounds so foreign when i'm talking about you know values and ethics in space so it's set us apart that that purpose and it's really got us noticed and it's open doors for us and it's actually led us to help you know Im- impact positively in the space industry write regulations that look after our environment and this you know the communities around these space ports is fundamentally changing the way that the industry is going and i think for any business having a think about you know what is your true purpose what do you feel good about with your business if you can really focus everything around that, then that it will just feel it will come through everything that you do, and that's what's worked for us. Anyways. Fantastic! If what you can a, do it in space, then you can do it in your can business. Do it, you can do it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic! Thanks ever so much for coming in today, oh, Melissa. No, it's been a, yeah, fantastic. Thank you. And 